Greetings friends, it's Zara, back with another video. Today, we're just going to briefly touch on Ebon Rock and Flame Gore. These dragons, I'm not even really sure if I want to throw up footage, because here's the thing. These guys are basically the exact same encounter. Um, Ebon Rock's got a little debuff he puts on the tank, and your tanks have to swap. Otherwise, he'll heal himself, and doing damage will be basically pointless. Really, the only thing here is making sure your tanks are on point. Not really your job as a hunter, unless you're the raid leader or the guild leader, one or the other. And subsequently, just unload on the guy. You can melee weave on both of these fights if you wanted to, but me personally, I'd rather just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride because he's going to change directions. We got three separate tanks, so he changes directions and changes basically 90 degree angle to 90 degree angle to 90 degree angle. And you have to basically adjust where he's where you're standing to melee weave to avoid getting shadow flamed. No big deal. If you want to do it, feel free. I personally choose not to. And with, of course, Flame Gore, he has the AoE pulse. When he's enraged, simply throw out the trank shot. He's funny. Another reason why you probably don't want to worry about melee weaving that fight. Just sit back, enjoy the ride, do your rotation, and when he gets enraged, boom, trank shot. These fights are pretty self-explanatory. I'm... I'm Again, there's not really a whole lot to it. These are not really something that we need to spend a lot of time digressing on. However, there is something that I want to discuss, and it's kind of a hot topic right now with the Hunters, with the release of ZG, and it's the, the, the Wind Serpents. If you go back and you look at a video that I did with Watch Your Six, he and I actually discussed it, and I asked him, he was the one that created the DPS calculator, and I asked him, I was like, Wind Serpents, when they come out, are they going to be a thing? Do you think they'll be a thing? And he had a really he had a really good point. Raid bosses have significantly less armor than we anticipated from private servers. Private servers, as most of you know, really blew up a lot of raid boss like values. Their armor count, how much damage they do, so on and so forth. Their debuffs that they send out. A lot of stuff got amped up. Private servers are infinitely more difficult, and well, I don't want to say infinitely more difficult, but they're tougher then Classic WoW is proven, and my god, like, I'm falling asleep in Zul'Grub, it's so ridiculously easy, but again, this is post, you know, this, I think this post 1.8 nerf to Hakar or whatever, so back in the day, he was actually pretty tough, but nowadays, it's just a snooze, and also because, you know, we know all the, we know, like, what's actual abyss and what's not, of course, for hunters, that's never really changed, but for a lot of people, Allens were wearing plate back in the day, now they're wearing dresses, and... You know, not everybody was doing that back in vanilla. Case in my particular guild back in the day, nobody was doing that. It made things harder for us. And now it's just kind of a snooze. But as it comes to the pets, I'm going to preface this by saying that I will test this. We do ZG uh, Wednesdays. So I'm going to actually take my owl and I'm going to drop him in Zolgarub. I'm going to tame a son of a car. I'm going to get him maxed leveled you know loyalty and everything and i'm going to test it out i'm going to i'm going to use the opportunity to take him and put him in a place where he's actually going to be useful and for example probably the best place to test him out is going to be in molten core there's going to be a lot less mechanics that he has to worry about he's going to be outside of baron gar's aoe he can just continue to unload on him i'm going to design weak auras and macros and everything to help you guys for those that do want to have the lightning serpents just for the sake of having it because it's a cool pet to have i fully i think even though personally my choice is probably going to be stick with the cat get a bat from zg because they're great for pvp and also for open world you have access to screech claw and they're ginormous which is kind of hilarious during pvp it really pisses people off and also stick with my wolf for DM tributes, which you don't absolutely need to have a wolf, but to me, you know, it just helps. It's a lot easier for me to just click Furious Howl to get make sure my pet gets aggro and move on. So that's not a little tidbit on that. The last thing I'm going to say is there will be a video coming out probably, probably this week, actually. I'm probably going to do this video on Thursday. I'm going to do a review of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I know that's not what a lot of you came here to do but Final Fantasy 7 is like it's been my life since I was you know eight nine years old 
and 23 years later we've gotten this remake and I just finished completing everything from top to bottom minus getting like one weapon I think I missed from not stealing it I'm gonna go back and get that but I completed all the secret missions I completed all of the you know combat simulator I beat the you know the prototype weapon that I'm not gonna spoil what that is it's actually from the original game I'm not gonna spoil it for those that actually want to play it so I'm gonna do an in-depth review it is going to be a spoiler like like it's gonna be it's gonna include spoilers I'm sorry don't want to watch it don't worry about it but expect that video on Thursday it's gonna be a long video we're talking like traditional long like 35 45 minutes somewhere in that range so if you're looking forward to that be sure to like subscribe so that way you don't miss it but with that guys I'm gonna leave you guys be I know this was kind of a unique video it's different than what I've done in the past but honestly I needed to get I'm, I'm trying to get these hunter versus series knocked out in a way that you know we get them done and we're done timely and also I'm able to give you guys great information and the information I'm trying to give you is look wind serpents they're a nice commodity to have but they're not even remotely necessary so if you don't feel like you I, I want I want people to understand you don't need to go tame one it's not something where you need to have it it's more of a just you know a staple a unique pet to have it's nice to have it if you're a pet collector otherwise if I was you if, if, it, if, it, if it were me stick with your cat for your raids stick with your wolf for tribute runs and stick with a bat or something else a little bit more tankier that you can use out in the open world to farm with if you want to farm for skins or if you want to farm for sinews or whatever else you might want to do. Well, with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video as always. I love you guys. Check out more videos over here on the suggested side page. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. They're out.